Greetings Padawans, it's Obi-Wan Benobi here. Today I'm going to tell you how I've gone up 75 operator levels, 95 weapon levels, and 50 battle pass levels, all while AFK in Warzone in the last two days. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did that in about 20 seconds, right after we hear from today's video sponsor, Computer Builders Anonymous. Stick with me. Computer Builders Anonymous is a top-rated PC designer and full-service tech support company specializing in gaming, VR, and PCs for the home or office. The computer featured in all of our streams and videos was custom designed and built by Computer Builders Anonymous for maximum performance when streaming and video editing. All right, guys, and one more note before we jump into it here. I do want to be clear that I did not come up with this AFK XP method. Uh, it is something that I saw floating around on the internet and on Twitter. However, the video that I ran across was from about a week ago, and there have been patches and updates since then. So I wanted to put this video out there so that you guys know that this is still confirmed working as of today, which is Saturday the 26th. You can see we're using the character Isabella here. She is currently level 11. We're also going to throw the Gracie shotgun in our hands. You can see here it's level 1. I have not used this gun at all in Vanguard or in Warzone. We're going to be able to showcase that progress with our weapon, with our character, and with our battle pass, even though we're not playing the game. So at the time of starting this match, my battle pass level is 65, as you can see here. My shotgun level is 1, and my operator level is 11. Once you've chosen your operator and your weapon that you want to level, what you're going to do is you're going to load into a match of Caldera Clash, which is the new LTM. And as you can see here, it's a double XP across the board. I don't know how long this LTM is going to be active, but I feel pretty safe to assume at this point it's been more than a week and they haven't patched this method. So I feel pretty safe in saying that it's probably going to remain a viable strategy until the LTM is removed completely. One other thing that I would do want to mention here, guys, that you need to do is have your shoot set to auto deploy. Since this is an AFK method, you don't want your character in a constant death fall loop. So make sure you have that auto deploy on. That way your character will safely land. At this point, you can walk away. Again, this is an AFK method, if you have the weapon you chose set to your favorite loadout, it will choose that automatically. You can see here in the gameplay that I went ahead and selected that loadout. That way you can see I've got my level one shotgun here. And now here's the really important part, guys. To make this work, the next thing you're going to want to do is walk away. Go do whatever else you have to do today. Do schoolwork, do housework, whatever you want to do. Go watch a movie. Match links are about 15 minutes long. They can go quicker depending on which team scores more points. Your character is going to gain XP just by sitting here. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this and we'll catch you at the end of the match. And here we go guys, that match comes to a close. I did a great job for my team. As you saw in the time lapse, I got hit by a car once and fell back in. And that is literally my contribution to my team's efforts there. And look at all this XP. That's almost 10,000 XP and I didn't do a thing. I literally set that up and walked away and went and watched a TV show with my wife. And here's what's great. You can see the counter there. It's counting down. It is going to automatically load me into the next match. And see, here we go. Battle pass going up, went up an entire level, we're fast forwarding, and look, the game automatically loaded us into the next match, and this time, because I'm still AFK, I'm not even going to select my weapon, it's going to stay on this screen, and it, again, as long as that weapon that you chose is your favorited loadout, you can see my character in the background here has the shotgun up, and the same thing is going to happen this match. It's going to sit on this screen the entire match. Okay, guys, and as this game comes to a close, you can see that my entire system has basically gone into sleep mode here. It's all but shut itself off, um, and yet I am still in the game, and I got back just in time, two seconds left, just in time for my team to once again clutch a victory, and we're going to get some more XP again. I was just off doing other things while this game played itself. Once again, you can see the play again counter going. It will load me directly back into another game if I don't do anything. However, I want to go ahead and leave the game at this point so I can show you. This is two matches that I recorded, and I want to show you the progress in those two matches. You can see for our battle pass, we're almost to level 67, so we've gone up about a level and a half. My shotgun is now a level 5, and my operator is a level 12. What makes this XP method so great isn't that you're getting an abundance of XP, it's the fact that you're not playing the game while this is happening. Generally, what I've done the last couple of days is I've gotten up in the morning, gotten ready for work, come down, 
set up this AFK mode, and then left for work. And for the next several hours, the game will just continue to cycle itself. Uh, when I'm going to bed at night, when I come home from work in the afternoon and I'm cooking dinner and things like that, um, you could do it while you're doing schoolwork, again, housework, any of that kind of stuff. And this will level your characters and your battle pass for you. And I've had this running in the background off and on for the last couple of days, and I've gone up almost 100 weapon levels. I've maxed out five operators. And at the time of finishing recording this voiceover, I'm over level 7. 70 in the battle pass and I was level 18 when I started. There's no denying that this XP method is fantastic if you find yourself without time to do the grind. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If you did, do me a favor, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.